This is Robert from the CIA Ops Academy and I'm here in this video to show you how to share files with external users using OneDrive for Business. So what I've done here is I've logged in as a user into the Office 365 portal and then I'm going to navigate to OneDrive. So I select the OneDrive icon and that will take me to the OneDrive for this user. You'll notice at this point in time there are no files in there so I'm going to go up and create a new file using uh, Word Online. So I'm going to create that in a browser. Now, to give us a bit of a baseline, I'm going to create this document for internal users only. So all I'm going to do is basically share this with someone inside the business. So take a moment to uh, save. You'll notice the saving in the top of the uh, window here indicates. So now it is complete. I'll go back to uh, my OneDrive for the user. And you'll see that I have this document here, which I can select, and you'll see it is only shared uh, with this user. It's not shared externally. Now, what I'll do is simply, with the file selected, uh, then go and pick the share button from the top here, and I'll put in the name of the internal user that I want to share this file with. Okay, send them a message. All right, and you'll notice that I also get a link here that I can determine whether they're allowed to edit. So I'll leave those options as set. You'll also notice that I get the option here to expire the link in a number of days if I wish. So select that and I will go share. So what will happen now is that will send an email out to the user that I've shared with. So I've gone across to their mailbox here. We'll just wait uh, a minute or two for that email to arrive and here it is. Uh, Gordon has sent us this email indicating that he wishes to share a document with us if I select the link that I'm provided because I'm already logged into Office 365 will be taken directly to that document and I'll be able to view it. Now because Gordon has allowed me to um, edit that document you'll see that I'll put it into edit mode and again I can go in here and add some additional comments okay and then again wait a moment or two for that to save that's done Okay, so now I can go back and again look at any files that I do have access to in Gordon's OneDrive. Okay, so that's what happens with an internal user. Now, basically the process for sharing an external document is uh, very similar. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to uh, go in here and create another Word document. So this is the second document here. And I'm going to make this available to external users. So these are users outside my tenant okay so external users all right wait for that to save all right so give that a second and then what we'll do is we'll go back to our OneDrive and again to make it easier we'll right mouse click on this and we'll rename this and we'll call it external so we know what it's all about Okay, so you'll see again that this is only shared uh, with this user. So I'm going to select the file again and share. Now, in this case, I'm going to put in the email address of an external user. In this case, I'm going to use my Hotmail address. Okay, so uh, again, you'll see that I get an indication that this email address is outside my organization. It's outside my Office 365 uh, tenant. Again, so if I go in here and have a look at this, please review. You'll notice that I get the same options again if I want to to control um, who has access to this link, whether they're allowed to edit, and whether the link expires. So I'm happy with the default options. Okay, and I'm going to now share that with someone outside my organization. So again, I'll hit share. Now in this case, what I'll do is I'll pop out to my Outlook. So in this case, you'll notice that I'm in Outlook Mail. Once again, I do get an email from Gordon Jackson. And if I click on this link here, you'll see that I'll be taken to that document again, very much like the internal user. Now, generally to allow external user access to Office 365 and to things like SharePoint Online and OneDrive, the uh, receiving user will need to have a Microsoft account, a free Microsoft account. Typically, this is Outlook.com, Hotmail.com, Xbox.com, or they can create a free Microsoft account tied to their existing external email address. And I'm not going to go into how to do that, but again, it's very easy to set up. So what I've done now is, oh, let me go back into the browser. So remember, this is an external user through Hotmail. So I'm just going to go in here and you'll see that there's the document and looks good 
to me. Okay, so again, that will then save. All right, so once that saving has uh, completed, that will then update the document uh, and Gordon will be retained as the location. His OneDrive will be retained as a location where that file resides. In the top right hand corner, you'll notice that I'm nominated here as a guest contributor. So I have the ability to edit the documents, but I'm not an Office 365 user within that tenant. Okay, so again, basically what I've done here is received an invitation to my Hotmail uh, from Gordon, and I simply click on that document. I need to have a free Microsoft account for uh, access to that document, and then I can use it just like uh, an internal user. Now, if we go back and have a look, you'll see that once again, that document uh, has been indicated as being shared. Now with that selected, let's go up and look at the information over here. So if we drill into the information about this file, you'll see that I get uh, recent activity and you'll see that I get indication that the guest contributor edited that file. Okay, so again, you'll see that it was shared. All right, and if I go down to sharing here, all right, we'll see that we also get the option here of who it is actually shared with okay and we can add additional uh, people if we want to do that and we can control uh, the sharing uh, if we want to now what we can do here is we can also create another document so let me go in and create a third document here all right and i'm going to share this with basically anyone on the internet using uh, anonymous access right so let's create this document here called anonymous access wait for that to save and update and then we'll go back to OneDrive and what we'll do is we'll share that but we'll basically just get a link to do that. So let's go back to the OneDrive. You'll see that uh, Gordon again has an indication that this file here, um, again this document that I have uh, just created here, so let me right mouse click on this and rename this to Anonymous okay and you'll see that it's not shared at the moment but what we'll do is we'll go up here and instead of selecting share we're going to select the option here called get a link so what this link is is going to allow anybody with this link to edit this item you'll see i can select this again i can turn editing on and off and whether the link expires now if i go in and get a link it will generate a link for me so i'm going to copy that link Okay, so basically what's going to happen now is if I go to another browser and I just paste that link in that I was provided, you'll see that it will give me direct access to that file. And because I have allowed the ability to edit, so I go in here again and allow myself to edit that file. So if I go to the end of this file, all right, and again, you'll see that it updates and saving in the background. In the top right hand corner, I am a guest contributor. But the important thing to indicate here was there was no need for the user to actually go in and log in to that file. They were just given a link, which is known as anonymous access. All right, so if we go back to uh, these files here, and again, you'll see that they all indicate that they are currently being shared. Now, again, I can select this. I can go in to get more details about this file. We'll get the activity and you'll see the uh, guest contributor has um, been able to access that. We go in here, we can see uh, the people that are sharing. And again, anyone with this link can obviously get uh, access to that. If I want to, I can go in here and select the option to stop sharing that file. So I'm going to uh, stop all the sharing. So that means that even that that link uh, has been uh, made available to someone, I've turned that sharing off. Okay. Now, if you want to get more into it, so again, if you want more uh, control over the sharing, again, if you go down the bottom here, you can select the advanced option, which will basically take you to the low level SharePoint permissions for that file. But in most cases, what you'll find is that the permissions that are available here uh, work quite well. All right, so what we've done in summary here is we've created documents in a user's OneDrive for Business. We've then shared them with uh, internal users within Office 365. We've then shared them with external users via their email address, requiring them to have a free Microsoft account to log in to access those documents. And finally, we've created uh, a link which allows anybody who has that link to come in and work with a document. Now, as mentioned, we have the ability 
when we do create files to control whether they can read and write those files and whether those files that are provided have an expiry time limit on them. So it's quite simple to actually share files from your OneDrive with users inside and outside your organization.